Bitcoin was introduced as an electronic cash system. But money is one area of the overall data set. Bitcoin is the order in the chaos. It is the keeper of time. It is the keeper of records. It is the unifier and purifier of technology. What's important is that the technology is there. Once we get through this and we get through the light at the end of the tunnel and we rebuild society, we'll be able to usher in technologies of transparent foundations. But it's on every single one of us. This series, and the reason why we've done this series, isn't to just highlight the challenges in the world. Because picking out and plucking out problems and just advocating and just shouting about problems and say, oh, look how screwed we are, look how skewed the system is, we're all slaves, doesn't help anyone. What this series was about is to identify some of our challenges that we have, but more importantly, where we see the solutions and our role in building the solutions. That is what we need to restore faith, trust, and quite frankly, function in humanity. We try to exert the decentralized nature of the internet. I feel censored on Twitter. I have to be careful right now what I say in this episode because it's gonna be posted on YouTube. I feel censored on Facebook. Facebook owns Instagram. Facebook owns WhatsApp. So we've been scouring around and trying to find new platforms, new mediums, new ways to express our freedom, new ways to express our opinions. So many went from Twitter and they found Parler without realizing Parler is hosted on AWS, so Amazon Web Services, which is a huge component of big tech. And Bezos just wiped them off the face of the internet. Apple deplatformed them as well. The Bitcoin space and the cryptocurrency space has not been void of the exact same corruption manipulation that we've seen play out in front of our eyes over the last 12 months. So what is Bitcoin? It isn't money you can hold in your hand. Some consider it the new gold, a digital currency that exists online. For the last 12 years in the Bitcoin space and the cryptocurrency space, it has been fixated with profit chasing. It has been fixated with a notion that is false, that Bitcoin is a digital gold. So we're about to go through a, a baptism of fire. But that baptism of fire, I believe, over the next coming year, will put to bed the misunderstanding as to what the true power of blockchain technology is. And by blockchain, throw away that term, replace with time chain technology because time is order in all chaos. Time gives meaning. An event took place, it has to have taken place at what time in order to have relevance. So Bitcoin is a timestamping ledger. How it does it is by digitizing something that is so archaic, a piece of paper. What makes Bitcoin unique is that it makes that paper public. It means that the whole world is a witness to whoever inscribes on that piece of paper. But then you need a pen to write on a piece of paper. If you can't utilize the ink in that shiny gold pen, what use is it? What law could you write into action? What check could you submit? What letter could you write to a loved one if there's no ink in the pen? You have a limitation of utility. And that limitation of utility is the myth that this is a digital gold which means it's going to go up in value forever because it's scarce, because everyone in the world wants this fancy gold diamond encrusted Cartier pen that has no bloody ink in it. It's over. That period of the sheep herd mentality outsourcing their brain capacity to these social media messiahs in the Bitcoin space, touting the wrong message and promoting that this is the liberty and freedom that's going to push humanity forward and going to end the corruption, going to destroy the banks. They've lied to you for 12 years. What makes Bitcoin valuable 
what makes Bitcoin the true change that we need, what makes Bitcoin the foundation to build us the new internet, what makes Bitcoin a way that the what situation that happened with Parler, the situation that happened with Twitter, the situation that's present and happening with YouTube, we have the real solutions to because we have a ledger and we have a pen that will allow me to use every single bit of ink inside the pen. So what that means is if I can write on the ledger and not having to request permission from anybody, if I can read the ledger without, again, having to request permission from anybody, if I can build on top of this ledger without having to request permission from anybody, what do we have? We have a tool that liberates humanity. We have a tool that is limited by the capacity of human consciousness, meaning, if I put this pen and paper in front of an accountant, I would expect my financial affairs to be in order. If I put this pen and paper in front of an artist, I could get a Mona Lisa. Who am I? And to everyone in the crypto space, who the bloody hell are you to dictate to someone that you don't even know what they can and cannot create? This series, the site series, has been about making that point clear. People like me and other people in this space who are building, like me, are here to build and provide tools that allow you to discern, decipher what is truth, what isn't truth, without having to go through the corrupt, leech-infested waters that have now taken over and polluted the internet. This is the rebirth of the internet. And by consequence, we're going to see the rebirth of what the human experience truly is. This artificial intelligence timeline that we're on, that Google, Amazon, Facebook are spearheading us towards by data harvesting on every single one of us. This is the only solution to move away from that system. Google already has perfected archiving and encapsulating human consciousness on the internet. We feed it to them, we give it to them, and then they give us a search box to then curate it and search it. And then they skew the results and then sell us ads of the base of our impressions. The model has changed. We just haven't seen it yet. And this series and why we put it together is to help humanity see. Until the next time.